As a Silver Shadow owner myself and knowing zero about how solar power works, I was confused when I started looking into powering off the grid, which has proved to be worth it in my experiences. And I for sure overthought all of this upon buying. But if the trailer you're using has the factory electrical system and an inverter connected to the battery, all that's needed is a solar panel that can handle your desired needs. I got a suitcase Dokio 220 watt panel that included all the cables and a charge controller. These are the three must haves to make this setup work. You'll need a charge controller, which controls the flow of energy coming from the solar panel. It also tells how much juice the battery has and charging specs like temp, load, volts, etc. A solar power cable to get power from the panel to the charge controller an alligator clips cable used to get power from the charge controller to the battery. Optional, you may need an extension solar power cable just to get a better reach on your solar panel since the sun is always moving. The power unit or box for this trailer is in the galley under the sink. So to charge, Set the solar panel up in a spot where sun is shining. Propped at a 45 degree angle to better catch sun rays. Make sure the power cable is connected to the panel and run the cable to the charge controller. The controller should be set to your battery specifications and this can be found in the manual for your charge controller. Plug into the correct input You'll then see the amount of power the solar panel is pulling appear on the LCD screen. Now take the alligator clip cable and before clipping to the battery, it is very, very important to make sure that the black cable goes on the negative black battery terminal and that the red clip goes on the positive red battery terminal. No, this trailer is a 2012, but the newer models come equipped with a solar plug from the factory. Once the clips are correctly connected to the battery, then plug the cable into the charge controller. You'll see the battery status and capacity appear on the LCD screen. Now with both cables, one from the panel and one from the battery connected to the controller, you can see the battery is charging. I measure by the volts reading and not the capacity gauge, but that's a personal preference. It's really easy. Once all is hooked up, that's it. Just monitor the charge on the controller. The charge controller will do the majority of the work. It just comes down to figuring out your model and setting it correctly. I hope this information helps and makes your life a little easier.